Today, we are in the beautiful Sierra Madre Mountains of Mexico to share our one-year review of the Bowen Customs camper bed. Since installing the bed last year, we've driven over 34,000 miles of diverse terrain. We've taken it on highways across the U.S., frost heave laden roads in Alaska, and washboard dirt roads and sandy beaches in Baja. Stick around to hear whether or not we think this is the best camper bed out there. And there may or may not be some funny bloopers at the end. I'm Danny, and this is Mike, Walker, and Granger. We've been living full time on the road since early 2022. Our hope is to complete the entire Pan American Highway from the northernmost part of Alaska to the southernmost tip of Argentina. If you're interested in following our journey, which is bound to include many beautiful places, surprises, and laughs along the way, then please subscribe. We do have a full tour video of our Bowen custom bed that we recorded last year when we first got it installed. So if you want to get more details on the bed itself, feel free to watch that. We will link it below in the description. But first off, I just wanted to highlight a couple reasons why we went with the Bowen Customs bed versus some of the other options that were out there on the market. First off, if you come over here, is we really wanted to maintain the stock bed height. And Bowen Customs is one of the few beds out there that maintains the stock bed height and has upper sealed storage boxes. So how that is done is the bed itself is actually in between the wheel wells. And then the storage boxes are bolted on afterwards. The second reason we went with the Bowen Customs bed was just purely on the aesthetic. It is probably the best looking bed out there in my opinion. It has really nice departure angles. It fits to our Scout camper so cleanly. It looks like it's basically one unit come from the factory. We get multiple people asking us all the time, like, oh, where did you buy this rig? Thinking that we got it from one location. And we always have to tell them, you know, oh, you know, it's kind of piecemealed together, but it looks so clean. And really you can get this fit with any truck camper and Boeing Customs bed because they build them to the truck and to the camper and make everything look perfectly clean. The third reason is just the amount of storage space that we were able to get with this bed. While we pushed the camper back, we didn't actually get any longer uh, in that process. We got rid of the tailgate, but we still have our rigged tire swing on here and we just pushed the camper back to where it was about an inch before the rigged tire swing. And that allowed us to add an 18 inch front garage or front canopy, depending on what you want to call it. This adds so much additional storage and really has been game changer for us with our life on the road. In our last video, we'd only had the truck bed for about two weeks. So we still were trying to figure out what we wanted to store in different places. Now that we've had this truck bed for over a year now, I wanna just show you quickly where we store everything and how we've made everything work for us. First off in this upper garage compartment, we have two foldable Brompton bikes for us. We have two stand-up paddle boards, two water jugs down here, on the opposite side, we also have two more water jugs, dog food, uh, duffel bags with additional clothing, and just a bunch more gear on the other side. Up next is this lower front storage compartment. We store all of our tools in here. It's some of our heaviest gear. And what's nice about that is it keeps the weight low and in front of that back axle. Jumping back here to this other lower back box, we put a lot of our lightweight gear back here. We just have some life vests, extension cords and some other odds and ends in here and then these two top storage compartments they're both connected so it's basically one large storage compartment which allows you a lot of flexibility on what you want to store in here up here we just have probably too many shoes but we got the space so that's okay we keep our traction boards our go treads we'll fold them up and put them in here we have our bike helmets Back here, we have our foldable toilet seat. Uh, we also store our stairs in here, and then we have a basically a doormat if we're in the sand or dirt. Okay, let's hop over to the other side. Moving back to this storage, as I said on the other side, we're trying to keep as much weight down low. So this is basically all of our recovery gear we have our air compressor, uh, safe jack, 
and a bunch of other stuff in here that's a little bit heavier. And then back here, we got our sleeping bags, we got some baseball gloves or softball gloves technically, and a bunch of Frisbees in here. And then moving up here, this is probably my favorite part on the entire Bowen Customs bed. This is our outside kitchen. We installed some plywood here, so we have some kitchen counters. Then we're able to remove this. And we're able to pull out this and have our outside propane cooktop hooked up right to our propane tanks right here. While we do love this bed, there have been two little issues that we want to be honest about that we have had. Before we go through them, I want to point out that this is the prototype bed. So this is the first bed of this design to be built by Bowen Customs. They have made quite a few upgrades and improvements since we've gotten this bed, but we'll go into some more of those details in a little bit. First issue was our latches. This latch right here, you can kind of see it's a little bit shinier than the other ones. That's because it has been replaced. The locking portion of this latch uh, basically just popped out on me the one day when I went to lock it. Bowen did send us a new latch to replace this one, so he took care of the issue. But since then, they've actually changed the latch model that they're using on this to a higher quality latch. The only other issue we've really had, and it's really not much of an issue, is the rear access panels which allow us to access our scout tie down straps they can be a little bit of a pain to remove and reinstall they have eight bolts that go around you got to remove them all and then remove the panel the one time that i was reinstalling the panel i accidentally stripped one of the rib nuts which meant i wasn't able to get it fully sealed and allowed water to enter these storage boxes bowen customs did replace that rib nut for us and we haven't had any issues since and on their current design, they've actually changed these access doors to be hinged at the top with a couple thumb screws for easy installation. While it might be a little bit dirtier than it was the day we rolled out of Bowen Custom Shop a year ago, the overall quality and functionality of this bed has remained the same. And it still looks good. And yes, it still looks good. We've, you know, there are a couple scratches on it. We've gone down through some tight trails and the truck, the camper, the bed have a couple little scratches on it, but that just shows we're using it. I honestly think that the quality of it is pretty awesome. So it's probably pretty obvious, but we are extremely happy with how our Bowen Customs bed has held up over the last year. It makes life on the road a little bit easier knowing we can carry different clothing for different temperatures, our bikes for getting around, stand up paddle boards when we're by a beautiful lake or beach, and overall, we're extremely happy with our purchase. In our slightly biased opinion, we think that the Bowen Customs beds for sliding campers are the best ones on the market since they do not raise the height of the bed and they have fully sealed boxes on the top. And they look amazing. I did talk to Brent Bowen this week and he filled me in on two new features that are gonna be launching this summer. The first is an electronic security feature that ties into your truck's key fob. And the second is power and lighting options inside the storage compartments. For all things Bowen Customs, they have a great website, bowencustoms.com. You're able to go on there, select what type of bed you want, select the options and overall length of your bed, and it gives you a price estimate right there on the website. There's also a contact us option there. If you're interested in any customized options with your Bowen Customs bed, you're able to reach out to them and they can walk through what they're able to do for you. I don't know. All done? All done. Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. Holy moly, it only took like three days of filming.
that sneeze. Hold on. No sneeze? Nope, maybe not. Okay. The second reason we really wanted to go with the bus, <laughs> the busted. The second reason we went with the Bowen Customs camper bed was just because of the pure aspect, not aspect, aesthetic. Okay. Shut up, we're filming. Hey, don't talk to him like that. When we met Brent Bowen at Overland Expo a couple years ago, he really dis distilled a confidence in us. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> what we've really had is they're a little bit of a pain to remove and reinstall. Granger, you're <laughs> knocking your mother and she's not holding the camera still. Go play elsewhere. Kind of like that, but I mean, it's yeah. really, uh, I was just trying to think of where I was rolling into next. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I start a sentence <laughs> and I just don't know where I'm going <laughs> or where it's going. Um, Michael Scott. Customs, go to his website mm, for all details regarding Bowen. Mm, blah, blah, blah. You're able to select what bed type you want, select the size, and he gives a press. Mm, ah, so close. Then, then the overall quality and functionality has remained. <laughs> <laughs> 